here are all of my ingredients that I will be using today to cook some healthy meal prep ideas. So, if you want to get romaine lettuce, this is super easy and affordable. It's three bucks for three big parts. I'm gonna cut off the ends. I'm gonna have a little compost bin so I can throw everything away conveniently. Boom! Chop that. And then you just wanna cut it in little stripe format. Super easy. Just cut off the little romaine. What I like to do is just prep it as I go. So I have wrote these many romaine hearts. I have kumatoes. I like to buy kumatoes because they are a baby of a kumquat and tomato. I think they're just the superior tomatoes. Always rinse your vegetables like that. I just like to cut them in half and then I cut, put that flat so then I have a good surface. And I just cut them in little hot dog, hot dog stripes. Always curl your fingers so that when you are slicing with the knife, you don't cut your fingers so you want them curled so that it hits against it. Also, don't hold your knife like this. You can cut your fingers. Hold it sturdy. I hope I'm saying this right, father. <laughs> Boom. Just toss that in. If you don't like tomatoes, you don't have to add them. It just means you need to grow up and like tomatoes. <laughs> We're starting with the laziest recipe because it's so, so easy. You buy this. I cannot emphasize how delicious and easy this is, but you preheat the oven to 400. And you leave it inside for 15 minutes. What I've done at school is I put this in the oven and I go take a shower, I come out, it's done. And you have the meal and you have the salad done ahead of time. It's super, super easy. I'm just going to separate this. And then once the oven is preheated, I can toss it in for 15 minutes. Honestly, cooking is not that hard if you follow the recipe. Sometimes I will not follow the recipe and I wonder why it fucks up. But as long as you follow the directions, it's not hard. So just put it in for 15 minutes. Oh, sorry, it says 20 minutes. <laughs> no longer than 20 minutes. Next thing I'm going to use are mini cucumbers. This is so easy because then you don't have to cut them in half, you can just directly slice them. You just want to slice them. Sometimes you can slice them in half. When they're ugly, I'll just eat them. Because I don't want them to look ugly in my salad. I peel the onion and then I'll just slice it in half. I slice it in the rainbow shape. This is the way I remember it. And I'll do that about four times. You can do it more if you want it more of an onion taste but I'll do the rainbow shape and then I'll stack the layers. And because it's already lined up, all I have to do is slice it across and it's basically already diced. So like now when I pick it up, it's already in cubes. My dad would be giving me many critiques after this video. Mix that around. It's just cucumber, tomato, and red onion. Personally, I like the acidity of the red onion, so that's why I'm not using the white onion. But I also just like the colors. So I like to buy the teeny tiny ones because in the morning it's perfect to just have a full one and finish it with toast versus having the normal size avocados and then like eating half and then putting the rest away and wrapping it and then having it brown. So the teeny tiny ones are the way I like to go. We're gonna use this one, it's perfectly ripe. We're gonna slice it vertically. Oop, there we go. I learned from this from my housemate but she just peels it instead of having to slice it inside because then you maximize, uh, sorry, this is not a good example. Oh, there we go. You maximize what's inside and you can also slice it super nicely. So I just peel it. It's all peeled, so I'm just going to thinly slice. I like little bites of avocado in each spoonful I'm going to add to this in here.
The salad is super, super delicious for when it's hot because it's just super sweet and refreshing. I do have parsley. Mei Mei! Yeah, that looks great. I guess I'm kind of, I am kind of eyeing it, but I think I kind of know how much. Yeah, of course you do. And maybe you could do a little bit more parsley in here. Yeah, in this, okay. this big one. Cool. Daddy's beef salad. <laughs> so you're supposed to put the temp the sugar with the tomato and the salt with the cucumber. Yeah. And then at the very end, olive oil and vinegar. Because because that salt's gonna draw the cucumber juice and then it's gonna make a really nice broth at the bottom. miso paste. If you saw my other video, I love eating miso paste with some raw cabbage, but it's just so functional because during the winter time, all you have to do is add it to stock and you can make miso soup on the go. You can use it for marinade. Oh, hello. You can use it for anything. I'm just going to add some soy sauce. So you basically just want to cover it. I didn't add too much salt because the miso is already fermented and has sodium. So I'm just going to I kind of just cover it in. And I just do soy sauce, miso, and I like to add a little bit of ginger. Makes it fresh. This, uh, I could say, safely say, is my own recipe because I just kind of like fuck around and add whatever I want. So miso, ginger, soy sauce. You could add sake too, but not everybody has Japanese alcohol lying around. So. I will be doing without. Add the ginger. People usually do a little bit of brown sugar. I'm gonna add a little bit of sesame oil. Yum. Just to kind of bind it together. Sometimes when you leave it in the pan, it's still cooking, which is why I took it out a few minutes earlier. But as you can tell when I slice it up, it's very juicy and delicious and perfectly cooked, which is why this is so easy. And this is like my college meal prep hack. You can do random chunks, toss it over any brown rice or any orzo, any grain, quinoa. And the salads are all vegan. This is just a protein to add to make it more filling. Caramelize really nicely. While the salmon's in the oven, I'm gonna cook some chicken breast and prep the rest of my salad. I'm going to make my salad dressing that goes well with everything. It's just honey, Dijon, garlic, some red white vinegar, lemon juice, and olive oil.
tea, so it should taste a little bit sweet and tangy. Add as many ingredients as you'd like. Usually I add shallots, but I don't have any, so sometimes I'll do red onion. But you wanna do Dijon mustard, honey, red wine vinegar, olive oil, lemon juice, salt, pepper. I add a little bit of garlic sometimes, but it's really delicious with everything. These are my secret. You can put them in salads, on sandwiches, in soups, in burgers, and everything, and they're just like sweet marinated bell peppers. And I just thinly slice them and top it on salads. I use it with any leftover vegetables I have, so whenever I have kale or arugula, I like put that in pine nuts, and then I'll saute some zucchini or some eggplant, and I'll just slice some roasted bell peppers and whatever cheese, like if I have goat cheese, feta cheese, and then I'll make my special dressing that goes with everything. I'm just prepped this arugula and kale, and I'm gonna add the bell peppers and whatever protein and vegetables, vegetables I have. And I'll put this everywhere. Even sweet green. Mmm. Spring shower. I know what that tastes like. Salmon. Yummy. Mmm. Mmm. The last one. Mmm. This one's a classic. Never fails. Bean salad. Yeah.